Parsis have always contributed towards India's progress in all fields. During the British era, the Parsis realized the importance of the English language and accepted the British style of education which proved useful to them and the country. When the British established the military camp in Pune, they required local people who knew the English language. They employed well-educated Parsis from all over India, especially from Mumbai, and got them to Pune. The fresh and pleasant climate suited the Parsis and they settled down permanently in Pune. Like the Parsis, a Jew by the name of David Sassoon from Baghdad also settled down in India. He and his Parsi business partner, Sir Jamshedji Jijiboy, had made a lot of money in their business. From this money, the first hospital in Pune was established in 1867, which was given his name, David Sassoon Hospital, which we now know as the Sassoon General Hospital. In 1924, Mahatma Gandhi was operated for his appendix in this hospital. Today, it is a government-run hospital with 1,500 beds. While the David Sassoon Hospital was being built, one Parsi businessman, Mr. Bairamji Jijiboy from Mumbai, came and settled in Pune. He had established many educational institutions in Mumbai. In 1878, Mr. Bairamji Gigi Boy established a small medical college near the Sassoon Hospital. The medical college was given his name. Today, we know it as the famous BJ Medical College. Every year, the college admits 250 students for the MBBS course. In the 20th century, Pune was hit by the plague and except the Sassoon Hospital, there were no other hospitals in Pune. During this time, some Parsi clinics were set up in Pune. Dr. Edelji Koyaji, who had a clinic in MG Road, Pune, decided to set up a hospital. Many rich Parsis came to his help and donated money to build the hospital. A Parsi gentleman by the name of Sir Kawasji and his wife, Lady Hirabai, donated the land to start the hospital and it was named after their son, Jahangir, who died in a car accident in 1944. In this way, the Jahangir nursing home was set up in 1946. Dr. Edelji Koyaji was the first head of this hospital. Today, we know the hospital as Jahangir Hospital. Currently, Jangir Hospital has 350 plus beds. It handles around 1 lakh patients annually, including international patients. Let's move on to the next hospital. A Parsi heart specialist doctor from Pune by the name of Dr. Keki Bairamji Grant completed his post-graduation in cardiology from the USA and joined the Jahangir Hospital as a heart specialist. In 1959, Dr. K. B. Grant started his own hospital of only four beds. The Governor General of that time donated him the land. The hospital was called Ruby Hall Clinic in memory of the Governor General's wife, Ruby. Ruby Hall Hospital, which started with four beds, is now a 750 plus bed hospital facility with a staff of 300 consultants, 650 panel doctors and 1,500 paramedical staff. Now let's talk about the famous KEM Hospital, which was established in 1921 in the Rastapet area of Pune city. A gentleman by the name of Sardar Mudliar had a small maternity home which was mainly for the poor people. He was finding it difficult to run his small hospital so he requested Dr. Edelji Koyaji of the Jahangir Hospital to provide an expert doctor and a good administrator to look after the functioning of his hospital. Dr. Koyaji's sister-in-law, 
Dr. Banu Koyaji was a well qualified obstetrician, means a doctor for childbirth. Dr. Adelji gave the responsibility of running the hospital to Dr. Banu Koyaji, who gave her whole life for the hospital. She expanded the KEM hospital and also worked for the villages around Pune. What began as a four bed maternity hospital is today a 550 plus bed multi speciality hospital. KM Hospital became a landmark hospital in Pune, and Dr. Banu Koyaji is a respected name in Pune even today. The current Parsi from Pune, who is world famous for his work in the field of manufacturing of medicines and vaccines, is the respected Dr. Cyrus Punawala. He is known as the Vaccine King of India. He is the chairman of the Punawala Group, which includes the famous Serum Institute of India, which was founded in 1966. The company produces around 130 crore doses of various medicine vaccines each year. Dr. Cyrus Punawala started the Villu Punawala Charitable Foundation in 2012 in the memory of his late wife, Mrs. Villu Punawala. In 2016, the Charitable Foundation and Serum Institute, in association with the Welfare Medical Foundation, set up the Vilu Punawala Memorial Hospital at Harapsar, Pune. It is a 74-bed multi-speciality hospital. Even today, all these Pune hospitals which were established and run by Parsis are working efficiently and providing medical relief to Punekars even in difficult times like the current COVID-19 situation. The Parsi community has left a permanent mark in Pune's medical field and they will be remembered for generations to come. Thank you.